We are learning more about the assassination of a presidential candidate in Ecuador. Fernando Villavencio was shot and killed 10 days before the general election was set to take place. He was outspoken about the recent increase in violence and corruption in Ecuador. He was killed outside a stadium in the nation's capital of Quito. The current president has declared a nationwide state of emergency. CBS News correspondent Lilia Luciano joins us now from Quito. Uh, I know, Lilia, you just arrived. Do we know anything more about why this candidate was targeted? Jeff, there is no official version. There hasn't been an answer given. All we know is that six Colombian nationals were arrested. And look, this is something that people are talking about across the world, throughout Latin America. Uh, this this presidential candidate, Fernando Villavicencio, was first a journalist and then a presidential candidate. Uh, in between, he served in the Congress here in Ecuador. He's somebody who, in his journalism, investigated corruption. Uh, he severely investigated investigated the former president of Ecuador. Uh, he unearthed things that led to a conviction of former president Rafael Correa. He also investigated, you know, politicians in Colombia as well. But the main thing that, that people are talking about here is just the utter power that the drug gangs in Ecuador have acquired over the last several years. The homicide rate here almost doubled between 2021 and 2022. This man was constantly talking about how Ecuador, in his view, was becoming what he called a narco state, where these gangs were just running around rampant, doing what they willed. And, you know, according to the United Nations uh, report on, on drugs and crime uh, from last year, they said Ecuador is the third country after Colombia and the U.S where the most drugs are seized. What that means is this is a country of transit. This is a country where drugs that are consumed in the U.S. and that are produced in Colombia continue to wreak havoc, and ever more so. Uh, one of the things that, you know, I, I couldn't fail but, but remember or notice, I was obviously a child, but I have reported extensively on the drug war in, in South America, was the assassination of Luis Carlos Galán, who was the presidential candidate. In his case, he was the leading candidate in Colombia in 1989 when the Medellin cartel uh, under Pablo Escobar was doing what this candidate here was denouncing, according to him, is happening here, that the drug wars are, or the drug cartels have too much power and, and are trying to control the politics. Okay, Lily Luciano, um, we're glad you made it to Quito, and um, I know we'll see you very soon on some future CBS News broadcasts. Appreciate it.